there. So I've got my um, sensitivity up pretty high on this machine, which means that the signal jumps quite a bit. But 46 is pretty much gold. But in this stuff, any signal which jumps over three, probably gold. See if I can pick him up with a pinpointer. Yeah, that's a bit of a wishful thinking. Pinpoint is not that sensitive, but I reckon if I give it a bit of a scope, you're probably just going to see him jump out at us with his big gold nugget eyes. Look at this stuff. That's some good material. But where's my nugget? Where is he? I might have to go back with that machine. Oh, come on. Come on, nugget. Oh, I think I just saw him. Maybe I was hallucinating. No, nope, there's a little piece. I don't reckon that was my... I don't reckon that's the bit I was detecting, though. No. He's too little. I mean, he's not... He's not little, little. He's, he's a nice piece, but... The signal I was getting was pretty good. I'll give him another swing. Just drop him in my vial. I thought I saw a big nugget. Give him another swing. Some hands. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Definitely more gold there. Gummy gold in all this stuff, but I reckon he's probably this one's too big, he's probably jammed in a crack, so we'll leave it that. What is that? A little piece of gold? Nope. Still can't see him. I know he's gold. He's in the bottom of that crack there. Maybe Pinpointer will get him now. Sure, he's going to be like a, a nice bit too because he's giving me a pretty good signal. Come on, where are you, Mr. Nugget? That's all good stuff, but not the nugget apparently because the machine keeps telling me it's right there. Point thing. This is right in the bottom of the hole. And I'm listening to my machine because my machine's a pretty clever little machine. Yeah. Scrapey, scrapey. Scrapey, scrapey. Where are you? Come on. Didn't think that was going to move, but I'm getting a bit closer to him, at least with the detector. That is, I'm still getting the signal. I just don't know where he is. Just breaking up some bedrock. This stuff's good. Put it over there in a the pile. That'll be my first pan. I'll, I'll pan all that stuff. But, ah, there he is. 
Easy nugget, nugget, nugget. Ooh, look at it. Oh, it's close to a gram. And it's real funky shaped. I love, the, I love the funky shaped gold. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like, um, SpongeBob's mate. Um, Squidward. Kind of. Maybe it's like Gandalf's star for some sort of infectious growth. But regardless, that's the biggest bit of gold I've run in ages. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. That was a good day. Found some gold. Found some more gold. And a little bit more gold. You can actually, you can hear it rattle. And you can see all the gold. There's some good bits in there. Yeah, it was a cracker day. Anyway, point of this video though is self-advertisement. If you are into uh, gold? No, fantasy novels. I wrote one. Now it's gonna be backwards. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. It's called The Good Mage or Eth Dug Egam by Sully Stag Beetle or Elt Eeb Gats E Loss but Sully Stag Beetle. Anyway, I wrote this book. It's a great book. It's on Kindle. If you're into Kindle, it's like four bucks. Or if you want to buy a hard copy, go to sullystagbeetle.com. You'll find like a link to an eBay page or just Google it on eBay. I got them on there, 25 bucks. I pay the postage. No problem. I'll even sign it for you. Anyway, that's the main point of this video. Hope you enjoyed all my other videos and I'll catch you next time out here. Thanks guys. Gold!